Here's a demonstration of 9627 control. When you power up, the first thing you'll see is a travel speed adjustment, adjustable by this knob here. Scrolling down, you'll have a torch lift. This enables you to in a, uh, actuate a pneumatic torch lift up or down via a solenoid. Next screen you'll see is a start delay. This is a start delay for the travel before, uh, before sequencing begins. Stop delay is a delay of uh, travel stopping after you've pressed the stop button or you've actuated down downslope limit. Uh, weld timer is currently off. If you have this selected on, you can set your time of your weld in seconds. After that is a, simply a pass counter. Nothing you can put in, just something that tells you how many passes you've done. Coming back around to the top, you'll have a same travel speed, except it's locked. You can't do anything, and you're back to your normal travel speed. While you're in this, you can start and stop sequences here. You can jog back and forth on the carriage using these two keys. And these two obviously go through your menus. Uh, if e-stop is pressed, it will tell you, pull to release. Another part of this we'll get into is general setup. Press and hold both up and down keys while powering up until you see a different menu option. First one you'll see is four jog speed. These are factory settings which we've left at 50%. Reverse 50%. Rapid speed is 75% of overall travel speed. Next screen you'll see is an arc weight mode. The off or on. Uh, off is saying um, basically as soon as you press start button it'll start sequencing. If you have this on it'll actually read as input via your connections on the, on the right side of the unit for an arc signal. Uh, we currently don't have anything hooked up so we are, we are not waiting for that. Home sequence. After you come down and do your weld you can either press this stop or hit your downslope limit. It will automatically raise your torch up and come back to your home position which will come and strike your reverse limit switch currently off. Weld direction for this particular seam we were welding in is in reverse. This just selects every time that you start a sequence which direction it will travel in. Auto torch lift we have selected on. That is the pneumatic torch lift that uh, drops the torch into place at the beginning and retracts it at the end of a weld. Otherwise you would have to set this thing manually via the first menu screen. PTL stands for pneumatic torch lift. This is a start delay. This is not a delay for the amount of time it takes to drop the torch, uh, rather how much time you allow the torch to drop before you start a sequence, whether welding or moving or both. I have it set for one second. Stop delay is five seconds. After you stop the sequence, it'll wait five seconds before it picks the torch back up. Finger release is an option that we typically don't use for safety reasons. It will automatically release the fingers at the end of a weld. Um, I think you have a time function. Uh, no, you do not have a time function. Uh, and that can actually crash a torch if you don't have your torch come out of the way quick enough. Arc stop delay is exactly what it means. Uh, we set, usually set this at zero seconds because when we press the stop button, we want it to stop. If you're down sloping or you have a welder controlled sequencing, you would remove the arc on signal immediately and the welder would take care of the rest of the cratering. Back to four jog speed. One more screen that you should be aware of. Press and hold the forward and reverse buttons while powering up. This will bring you to a calibration screen. These numbers are set up here or by the factory at Jetline. These numbers should not be changed unless it's told by an authorized personnel. Um, closed loop mode on. Uh, and we won't go through these too much uh, as they should never really be changed just so that you're aware that they're here and how to get in and change them if we ever need you to. Otherwise, power off and power back on and you should be at your regular run screen.